Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we are going to draw some Christmas stockings in Procreate. So open up the app, create a new canvas and let's start drawing. So this technique is a very similar to the technique we use for the Christmas sweaters. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. It will be linked in the description below and I'll also put it in the annotations. That being said, the first thing you're going to do is create a new layer and rename it to string. And this is where we're going to draw the string where the um, stocking hangs. So go ahead and pick a nice dark uh, gray color as well as a sketching pencil and just draw a little curved line for your string. And for this tutorial, I also recommend you change the color of your background. So just tapping on that layer, selecting a very light blue grayish color, just so that when we draw in white later, we actually see what we're doing. And just like for the sweaters, we're going to create a bunch of layers to organize the file. So go ahead and create a new layer, call it base, and then another layer on top of that that you're going to set as a clipping mask. And this one, you're going to rename it to design. And then you're going to create one more layer, a clipping mask as well. And this time you're going to rename this one to shadows. You're then going to swipe all these three layers towards the right. So not the string, just the layers for the stocking. And you're going to group them and then rename that group to stockings. So now that our file is ready, go back to the base layer and pick the brush you want to use. I will be using the gouache brush set just because I like the texture, but you can really use any brush that you want. And I've included a free um, palette, so you can click in the description below. It's on Patreon, but it's made on, like it's public, so it's free to download. Or otherwise you can just pick your own colors, that's totally fine as well. And you're just going to quickly draw the general shape that you want for your stockings. So you can see here, I'm starting with just a little hook part of the fabric that helps the stocking stay on the, um, the string. And then I'm drawing the actual stocking. And if you are using a brush that has some texture to it, be mindful of the direction of your strokes. So you can see here, since my brush has some texture in it, I'm trying to keep my strokes in the direction or in the same type of direction instead of just coloring crazy all over the place and one thing that looks really good is to have different sizes of stocking as well as having them in different directions so you can see i have two that are pointing towards the right and then the last one is pointing towards the left and that really helps the composition of the image just because it helps keep the eye in the center of the piece so that's a bit more advanced um, subject and things to talk about but basically try to keep your the toes of your stockings pointing inwards. You can also use the um, selection tool, set it to freehand. If you want to move one stocking and just kind of reposition them, change the size, you can definitely do that with the air tool. And you can also use the eraser to just tweak the shapes a little bit until you have something that you're really happy with. So once you're happy with the stocking bases that you have, go ahead and in your layer panel, select the shadow layer and set the blending mode of it to soft light. You're then going to pick a purple, blue type of color. So something in, in that range. And you're also going to pick a really textured brush. So I'm going with the um, dry brush from the gouache brush set, but otherwise you can go and um, just explore the textures brush that come with Procreate. Because all you want to do at this point is add a little bit of color variation as well as <laughs> of course, textures in the socks. And once you have that, go and open the adjustment panel, select hue, saturation, brightness, and play with the hue a little bit so that it blends just a, a tiny little bit better. And you can, you can lower the saturation or up the saturation as well. Basically, all you want is to have some texture that looks good. <laughs> once you do, go ahead and select your design layer as well as a nice white color or cream color and go back to your uh, brush that you were using at first. So in my case, I'm going back to the soft brush or soft round brush. And we're going to start adding some details on the sock. So we're gonna start by adding something on the top. So here, as you can see, I'm just drawing four circles connected together and it looks like this really nice border at the top. And you're also going to draw some semi-circles 
on the heel as well as the toe. But for the border at the top, you could also just go with a plain type of rectangle and you can just kind of mix and match and just have something really fun that is different from one stocking to the other. And it looks really good as well to have one stocking that is a different color. So as you can see here, if you open your layer panel and then go back to your base layer, you can just drag your white over one of the stockings to turn it white. And then going back to your design layer, you can just um, go back and add like red toes and red heel on that white stocking. So yeah, this step really all you're trying to do is create an image that is balanced uh, visually. So you want to have some interesting colors, something that, you know, the composition is good. You don't want to fall too much into details. Uh, so really just focus on the toes, the heels and the, um, the top border type of thing. <laughs> Great. So when you have your basic shapes and designs, you can really draw whatever type of patterns you want. I'm going to show you three that are very popular. So the first one is going to be the reindeer and to do a, to draw a reindeer, just start with a regular rectangle, which is going to be the body. And on one side of that rectangle, go ahead and draw a vertical line for the neck and then a like oval for the head. You're then going to draw a little angle line for the tail as well as a V-shape on the head, which is going to be the ears, and a taller V-shape, which is going to be for the antlers. And you're just going to complete your reindeer with four little legs. And you can see it looks really, really cute, but it's super easy to do when you kind of um, just split it up in a bunch of separate little shapes like this. Another very popular shape is this type of like star snowflake shape. And to draw that shape, all you have to do is just draw basically a plus sign symbol, but that has like two sets of lines. So make sure to look at the video to understand what I'm saying, but it's super easy. And once you have that plus sign, you just have to turn the lines into little triangles. And to finish it up, just draw a little circle in the middle. And if it looks a bit wonky, that's totally fine. Use your selection tool and the arrow tool and you'll be able to just put it back into shape in a matter of seconds. And the last shape I'm going to show you is a very simple snowflake. So for the snowflake, start by drawing a single plus sign and then on top of it, just draw a um, like an X. And then on the outside of each branches, you're just going to draw like a V, um, v shape. And you can add a circle in the middle if you feel like it or not. That's really up to you at this point, but that's that's the way to draw a very simple yet super cute snowflake. And once you have your main elements, basically all you have to do is kind of doodle on your um, your stockings to fill out the the emptiness. So there are a bunch of little shapes that you can use. So you could use just little lines or dots. You can use plus signs, uh, zigzag lines, just whatever you, you feel like using and turning into a pattern, go ahead and use it. There is no rule here. Just let yourself experiment. Um, and it's going to look really cool and I have a feeling you're really going to enjoy it because it's quite therapeutic. It's kind of like, um, you know, when you're in class and you're just um, doodling in your, your notebook instead of, of listening. At least, um, I'm not proud to say it, but I did that. Um, I was drawing all the time as you, <laughs> as you can imagine. But anyway, so go ahead and, and free that part of your soul in this tutorial and just doodle as much as you want and depending on what you want to use these stockings for so if you want to use it for you know a very small social media post or a postcard or a big poster for some reason um, you might want to have more or less details so make sure that you look at your piece at the size it's going to be at the end um, and you can also make it very personal piece you know um, the idea behind this tutorial came from my grandma. My grandma, every year, 
since I was, I mean, since as since as far as I can remember, she would make us um, Christmas stockings for Christmas, and she would fill them with. She, she called them gadgets, but honestly, <laughs> she would really go out of her way to find cool little knickknacks to put um, in the stockings. But every year, the stockings would just get bigger and bigger. And I'm not talking like just starting from a small regular socks to like a, a normal Christmas stocking. I'm talking like I could fit my entire leg in it. And yes, I'm just 5'4", but still, like, <laughs> it's a massive stocking. And by the end, we would not call them Christmas stockings anymore. We would just call them um, Christmas sleeping bags <laughs> because they're just so big. So anyway, th this little tutorial is, I guess it's in honor of, of, um, of my grandma. Um, and I I'd love to know, you know, if you guys have any like holiday tradition, uh, and it doesn't have to be really about Christmas, I know, it's not everyone that celebrates Christmas, but if you have any family tradition in your holiday, because I mean, this Christmas stocking is, is definitely my family tradition. Um, but I, yeah, I'm really curious to know what family tradition you guys might have. So just comment below and uh, you know, it's, it's the holidays, it's a weird year. So I, I have a feeling it might be nice to just share a little bit of, of what we usually do um, around this time of the year. So anyway, enough chatting, I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> um, once you're done with your design, go ahead and create a new layer on top of your stock stocking group. And you're going to rename this one to decorations. And this is where we're gonna add uh, the, the little pine needle. So go ahead and select a nice green color as well as the same brush that you've been using. We're not, we're not going with anything different here. And just map out what you want your like branches to go. And you can have as many as you want or as few as you want, but it just looks nice to have it like a pop of green to complement with the red of the stockings. And it's really super easy. Once you mapped out everything, just zoom in and draw some uh, lines that are roughly 45 degrees angle from like the, the center stem and just like go around the center stem and that's that's really it. <laughs> There's nothing fancy to this step, but it makes a big difference in the end. And once you have all your little branches, go back to your cream color and add some little berries. Um, just I, I like to add them where the branch connect with the strings, just to kind of have that awkward overlap. <laughs> but you can add some at other spots as well. And you can also add some little red berries to kind of complement and tie in the decoration um, and the stockings. And there you go. This was how to draw Christmas stockings in Procreate. I would love to see what you guys create, so make sure to share the results with me either on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.